It's your first mission as an agent of SPY, a secret agency focused on undercover operations. Your mission is to rendezvous with Agent V at a masquerade party hosted by the Target in their luxury mansion and kidnap them without creating a scene or any casualties. You both have to come up with a game plan. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Report back to me the second you're done. This message will now self-destruct. <sighs> it's amazing how a cheaply made plastic mask can give people so much confidence. You never know their true intentions. <laughs> Did I make you nervous? Don't worry, I know who you are. Excuse me, bartender. Two Manhattans, please. Oh, don't look so shocked, sweetie. Just because we're supposed to be undercover doesn't mean we can't enjoy ourselves a little. I mean, we're still human after all. <laughs> Just what I needed. So, fresh out of the academy, I see. Hmm. Well, I do like them inexperienced. You know, the agency doesn't allow for agents to fool around with each other, but uh, I'm something of a free spirit. Don't worry. Our target tonight is an easy one. We should be done before midnight. You see the target right there? The one in the yellow mask? All we have to do is place this tracking device onto their clothing and kidnap quickly and quietly. We don't even have bodyguards. Surprising, right? And I know the perfect way to put the device on them. Let's dance. Now wrap your arms around my waist. Look into my eyes. Follow my lead. We're going to move closer and closer to them as this goes on. On my signal, we'll fire the tracer. <laughs> you know, the song is actually quite famous. Apparently it's about a farmer who grew the best potatoes in his village. The people loved his potatoes. Until one day he fell ill. None of the town folk would visit him, except for a beautiful woman named Maria. She came to his little farm and nursed him back to health. They then soon got married and left the village for a better life. The townsfolk were so angry that he left because he took his potatoes with them. So angry, in fact, they found him and killed him. Maria was stricken with so much grief that she killed the entire population of the village by poisoning it, the last of the potatoes in his stash. Messed up story, isn't it? But it's kind of romantic if you think about it. How crazy some people will be. Get so focused on revenge. <laughs> All right, we're in range on my signal. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Oh no, they're looking this way. Sorry about this. Okay. Looks like we're in the clear. Oh, that was close. No, where were we? <laughs> you know, you're really cute when you're caught off guard. Looks like they're on the move. Come on, let's get going. We can cut through the kitchen, but we gotta move. <coughs> He's heading to the third floor. We have to hurry or we cannot lose him. Trust me, you don't want to get chewed out by HQ. 
Hurry into the elevator. Oh, that was a close one, huh? Okay, so here's the plan. We wait until they're in their room, we break the lock, and we complete our mission. Then, maybe afterwards we can get back on the dance floor and you can uh, show me more of your moves. <laughs> well, this is their room. Okay, just stand behind me. Remember your training. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I see you're enjoying the view. Surprise! You think I give up searching for you after what you did to me and my family? Listen, rookie, this piece of filth took everything from me. I'm not going to let him live. And after witnessing this, I can't possibly let you go back to HQ. <sighs> I truly am sorry. Up until this point, you did pretty well for your first and last mission. <laughs> like I said, you look awfully cute when you're caught off guard. 